Hey guys, this video is going to go over solving equations with fractions. All right, we did this a little bit last year, but I'm gonna just kind of refresh your memory on it. All right, so I would like you to copy this equation down in your notes. We have x divided by two plus x over five equals six. And we wanna to try to solve this equation. Okay, so if you're looking at it right now, it kind of is really messy because it has fractions in it. I really don't like equations that have like a fraction, <laughs> like the two and the five here. So our goal is we want to try to get rid of it. Now, one way that we figured out to get rid of it last year is by actually timesing everything by something that um, all the denominators go into. So if, if you want to do it like this, you can put a one underneath the six. Okay, so we're going to think, I'm going to look at the denominators. I have a two and I have a five and a one. So I need to think of something that two and five both go into. Okay, so I, I, right away I kind of think of, well, they both go into 10. So I'm going to end up timesing every single thing by 10. Okay, and I usually wrote it like this last year. Okay, so this should look familiar. Okay, now it's okay if I times everything by 10 because I'm doing the same exact thing to everything in the equation. So now let's see what happens. So I'm going to multiply 10 times x, and if you want, you can put a 1 underneath the 10. If that helps you, you don't have to. So I'm going to think now what's 10 times x? Well, that's 10x. And then I'm going to think what's 1 times 2? Well, that's 2. Okay, I'm going to come to my next section, and I have, again, I have 10 times x and then one times five. Okay, so again, if you want, put a one under there. So 10 times x is another 10x, and then one times five is five. Okay, still got that plus symbol in between. Okay, then I'm gonna write equals. Again, if you want, you can put a one under here. And then I'm gonna think what's 10 times six? Well, that's 60, and one times one is one. So that's really just 60. You don't need to put a one under there. All right, so now I'm just going to come and divide this out. I know I can take, remember this, this line here? This can mean divide. So I'm going to do what's 10x divided by 2. Well, if I split 10x's into two parts, I get 5x. Plus, I'm going to come to the next part. 10 divided by 5, well, that's 2x. And then equals, that's just a 60. Okay, now I'm just going to draw my line right down through the equal sign. Okay, I'm going to combine these like terms. I have 5x and 2x. Well, that gives me 7x equals 60. I have one last step. And you guys should know this. I'm going to divide by 7. Okay, over here, 7 divided by 7, that's 1. So I just have 1x equals, and then right here, it says to take 60 divided by 7. Well, I know that 7 doesn't go into 60 evenly, so I can just leave my answer just like that. So my answer is x equals 60 over 7. There's my solution to that equation. All right, so we're going to try another one here. So please go ahead and copy this one down. We have x over 3 plus x minus 1 over 4 equals 2 plus x. All right, so first thing is we need to look at the denominators. We have a 3 on, on the bottom of the fraction. We also have a 4. Over here, there's really nothing under any of, any of this stuff. So those are just ones underneath there, okay? So I just really need to look at three and the four. So I wanna kinda of get rid of these fractions. So I need to think, well, what's something that they'll divide into? So three and four, I, I think that they both go into 12. So I'm gonna end up timesing everything by 12. Okay, so I did those by 12. I have to come over here and times everything over here by 12 too. So I'm gonna times every single thing by 12. All right, or 12 over 1 if you want to put a 1 underneath it. So now I'm going to go through and times this out. So here I have 12 times x and then 1 times 3. Well, 12 times x is 12x over 1 times 3, that's 3. Okay, I'm going to keep my plus sign. Over here, now this is kind of the tricky part. We didn't do many of these last year. I have to do 12 times everything inside here. And then if I want, I can do the 1 times 4. So I'll do the bottom first. I know 1 times 4, that's 4. So now I have to do 12 times x and 12 times that 1. It's like the distributive property there. So I'm going to do, well, what's 12 times x? Well, that's 12x. Okay. And then I have, what's 12 times 1? That's minus 12. 
All right, equals, now I'm going to come on this side. I'm going to do 12 times 2, which is 24, plus 12 times x, which is 12x. All right, so now I'm going to come through and do my next, my next step, which is dividing. So I'm going to come here, and I need to do 12x divided by 3. Well, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so this really becomes 4x plus. Okay, now I'm going to come to this section, and I just want to show you guys. It says 12x minus 12 divided by 4. That means that divided by 4, I have to divide both of these things by 4. See what I'm pointing for by? you got to divide that by 4 and that by 4. So let's do the 12x divided by 4, which gives me 3x minus, now it says 12, this 12 over here divided by 4, which is 3. Okay, then I have equals over on the other side. I just have 24 plus 12x. Okay, now I can go ahead and draw my line down through my equal sign. All right, and let's go ahead and combine some like terms. So here we have 4x and 3x, which is 7x minus 3 equals, over here we have 24 plus 12x. Okay, now this is just a normal equation like we solved a lot of times. So I'm just going to copy this down and go to the next slide so I have a little bit more room. All right, so here's what I had. 7x minus 3 equals 24 plus 12x. Okay, so once you get this far, you should be good to go now. So let's go ahead, and we don't want x's on both sides. So I'm going to take away 7x's from both sides. So there we have that cancels. Over here, we just have a negative 3 equals 24 plus we got to think right here, we have 12x take away 7x. Well, that would give me 5x. Okay, well, next step, I want to get the 5x all by itself, so I have to get rid of this 24. So to do that, I'm going to add a negative 24. Over here, I'm going to add a negative 24, because that cancels out the positive 24. Okay, so on the one side, I just have my 5x equals, well, 24 negatives and 3 negatives is negative 27. Okay, I have one last step. I need to divide by 5. Divide by 5. Okay, so 5 divided by 5 over here is just 1, so I have 1x. Now, I know that f over on this side, 5 doesn't actually go into 27 nice, so I'm just going to leave it like that. So it's really negative 27 over 5. I'll just leave it as a fraction answer. So there's my solution to that last problem. All right, the last thing I want to show you guys is if I have something like this, x divided by 3 plus 1 fourth x equals 2x over 5, I just want to sh point out to you guys, and then I'll kind of do one of these with you tomorrow. Um, when you have something like this, let's just look at this first part. Okay, if I wanted to, I could put a 1 with that x because it's just 1x. All right, now this is actually, I'm going to show you another way to write this. So it really has 1x over 3. Um, another way to write this is like this. You can actually kind of pull this fraction part out and write that as 1 third, and then it's times that x. That means the exact same thing. So how we had it written, x over 3, that is the exact same thing as this, 1 third x. I just put a 1 with the x, then I just pulled the fraction out and times it by the x. So if you look at this part, again, I just want to point it out to you, this is the same as if I would just do, I could put, this is timesing, right? So I could put a 1 under here. Now think if I would times these, that'd be 1x, and then 4 times 1 is 4. So that's the same as x over 4. And I had it written like this, 1 fourth x. So these two are exactly the same. Okay, so let's look at this one. Let's see if we can figure out a way to rewrite this one. Um, so again, you can pull the fraction part out. And you could just rewrite that as 2 fifths times x. That's the exact same as 2x over 5. Okay, so we're, we're going to work on some problems like that tomorrow in class. All right, so tomorrow in class, we are going to be solving some equations with fractions. So please bring your notes to class tomorrow.
with those couple problems worked out. And also, you do need to go fill out the form um, on my website or on Schoology. Make sure you fill that in. Okay? All right. See you in class tomorrow.